great day for the Ida May. Um, 25 years ago when the state and town and concerned citizens organized to save this western waterfront from development, among the goals they defined for this project were to highlight and preserve local history, to maintain a presence of traditional shipbuilding on this site, and to expand access to the harbor and the sound for all of our residents and guests. The item A embodies all three of these goals. She is a copy of the oyster dredge that was built here and fished in this bay for 77 years. She's been built right here in building J over there, of mostly local woods and using very traditional methods. And she will now become a source for educational and recreational adventures for participants of all ages at the not-for-profit water center right on the shore here. So to Executive Director George Ellis and our Board Chair Elisa Santaro of the Waterfront Center, we wish you many happy and productive years with this boat. Uh, and we pledge to continue our partnership with you to keep her and the Christine out there in tip-top shape as the queens of the bay. There are way too many people to acknowledge and thank for their parts in this 12-year project, but I have to note a few. Starting with our marine architects, Ian McCurdy, who lives right here in town and may be here, Shipbuilder Steve Short, who started the job, but mostly Josh Herman and Nobby Pierce here. Josh has been unbelievable. He spent a decade coaching volunteers, working himself harder than anybody else in the shop, and insisting on the highest standards for every detail. He and his crew of shipwrights and engineers have been amazing, especially these last couple of weeks which have been total madness trying to get this boat ready. So Josh, please take a bow. This project was provided by the Nassau County Department of Parks and Recreation, by the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation, and the New York State Education Department. But we especially thank former State Senator Carl Marcelino, who is here. The majority of our funds came from individual donors and small foundation grants. Since inception, more than 200 individual donors have contributed to this boat. Thanks to each one of you, and every dollar counted, and we're still fundraising. So, uh, <laughs> we're still going. accepting donations. The Board of the Christine Oyster Sloop Preservation is a small but dedicated group. Thank you for introducing them, but I want to note that it's a uh, special thanks to each of them for their participation and for seeing this project through. And finally, the item A was built largely by volunteer workers. Over 70 people have put in nearly 35,000 hours to help build this boat. It's been a real learning process for many of us. A lot of hard work, but a wonderful fellowship. And we look forward to continuing the boat building tradition right over here in Building J and keeping that going in Oyster Bay. We don't know exactly what the next project's going to be, but we know it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, all of the workers who are here, we couldn't have done it without you, and you should be very proud of your work. We have a, uh, a special poem that was written for today by the granddaughter of one of our volunteers. Um, so, Lindsay, would you come and read your poem? In Oyster her? Bay, a century ago, my predecessor docked at this very place. The first oyster dredge with a motor, Ida May sailed proud and strong into wide open space. While her work is done, mine is just beginning, and I am eager to serve in this way. I imagine with excitement the many folks who will climb aboard and gaze fondly at this bay. 
sails rustle, people bustle, children and adults flock to the sea. As a cool breeze mists their faces, kayakers glide beside me. Students will congregate on my deck to learn of aquaculture and coastal ecology. Romantic seafarers enjoy the golden sunsets as peaceful blue waters surround me. Today is a new beginning as my bow breaks a wave and my body is submerged in the waterway. I think of the many hands that sculpted me into existence to honor a tradition of being here in Oyster Bay. I'd like to invite one of our shipbuilding volunteers who is also the curate at St. John's Church in Cold Spring Harbor, the Reverend Mary Beth Mills Curran and she will give a blessing to start the Ida May on her sea voyage. Let us pray. We have come together this day to thank Almighty God and to ask God's blessings on the labors of all those who have built this boat, which now awaits her launch upon the waters. I call upon you to pray for God's blessing on the Idame, for those who built her and those who will work and play and learn upon her. Great God of earth and heaven and sea, we praise your holy name for the vision and imagination of those who initiated the building of this boat. We thank you for all those who designed and planned her and contributed to her building. And all who by their skill of hand and eye have been responsible for her construction. O Lord Almighty, let your blessing be upon this boat and upon all those who will serve and sail upon her. May good success and your protection and the guardianship of the holy angels always be with them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Ann Smith and Jennifer Laughlin, the widow and daughter of our founder, Clint Smith, uh, to now christen the boat. Whack it. Ida May. I can't. <laughs> I can't get enough. Go ahead. Oh, okay. You can get in front of me. Okay. There you go. One, two, three. Two. <laughs> Sorry, was I in your way? No, not at all. I tried to like. You were fine. Oh, it's a